Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Mexican American casserole because friends, if I put that this is Mexican, somebody's going to be like, it's not Mexican. And in reality, in Mexico, you don't eat like this, but here in the States we do. So I'm going to show you how to spice up your casserole. And let me tell you, your family's going to ask you for more. You've always wanted me to say this to you. This is not our phrase, but take it away. <laughs> for this recipe, we're going to be making frijoles puercos. And all that is, it's pork and beans. So you're going to take pork chorizo, ham, bacon, your choice of beans. You're also going to need some pickled jalapeños. And if you can't handle jalapeños, definitely get this so that you can use the juice from this can. You're going to need your choice of cheese. And this is going to be, honest, honestly, just this alone is going to amplify any meal. And for our ground beef layer, we're going to be using ground beef. And we have a wide selection of your basic spices. And for those of you that don't know what to put in here, I'm going to talk about it once we start making it. For our pico de gallo, I have chopped tomatoes, cilantro, onion, serrano. We're going to squeeze a little bit of lime juice, and that's going to be to taste. Sprinkle your desired amount of salt. Give that a loving mix. And now we're just going to set this dish to the side. We're also going to need some sour cream or crema fresca. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine both. And it's just, oh my gosh, it just tastes so much better. You're going to need some avocado, some lettuce. Are you going to tell us how much you paid for those avocados? I, you guys don't want to know. I got fancy and bougie today. She spoiled as a kiss. Herself. Yeah, I did. Okay, it was a spa day at the market. <laughs> some corn tortillas. And friends, I paid $3.99 for all of these corn tortillas. My family is going to be super corny this week. And that's to, <laughs> and that's to offset the cost of the pato sauce and avocados? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and friends, let me tell you, for this recipe, it doesn't matter if your tortilla falls apart. This is a casserole. That's exactly what we wanted to do in our bellies. I remember when I can get pato sauce for for a dollar. I'm gonna tell you how much I paid for this. Don't show us. I'm gonna show you. I don't know if you. But can it see was it. at our local market. It was a dollar thirty nine. But I go to my local market because I believe in keeping mom and pop shops in business so that they can take care of all their beautiful family. So if you guys want, you guys can add some pato sauce to this dish. For those that were here yesterday, you saw what happened to my blender. Somehow it's working again, which I'm happy because I don't have to deal with shipping. <laughs> ah! <laughs> so go ahead and add your beans. And since they are canned beans, I did rinse the beans and I'm using fresh water because I don't need any gassy bears in my house today. So you added one can of beans and then you filled up that can with water? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And now we're gonna blend until smooth. You've always wanted me to say this to you. This is not our phrase, but take it away. And boom, done. Friends, I didn't sneak anything in here. It's just that my blender's a little stained from the chile and it was so worth it. <laughs> you mean business with that cuchara de pentre. That's like childhood nightmares. Why? The cuchara de pentre is the all threads? that moms use. With the, the threads with mm -hmm. this cuchara? And for those of you that got a spanky with it, I hope that you're healing well. And we're sorry. We're sorry that happened. And to you. remember, parents, hands are not for hitting. Hands are not for hitting. I've been telling you guys this for a long time. We're going on five years of telling you hands are not for hitting. <laughs> <laughs> They're for making guacamole. <laughs> yes. Okay. What's your guys' favorite line that has to do with guacamoles? The favorite line? Uh huh, in a movie. Or um, in a book. I like the one from the Aquabots. Oh, really? I thought you were going to go with the Fools Rush In one. I do like that one, but since I always have the babies, I like the, holy guacamole, we got chips. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> and then, well, that goes along with the whole burger ring, but which one's your favorite? Um, well, now that you mentioned that, well, I do like that one because it reminds me of the babies, but I like, are you offending Amalia's guacamole? From Fool's Russian? Yeah. <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> Nothing goes to waste. You guys are gonna eat that. We're gonna eat it. Day at the spa. Scrinkle. Scrinkle, guys. Squeeze it. <laughs> it's now called scrinkling. Add a little bit of lime or citrus juice, whatever you have on hand. While I clean my area, Cloud's getting a little bit of water for us. <laughs> Don't trust me to give you water because I take the best cup that you have in your. It's, it really is the best cup, you guys. In your cabinet. I'm going to make a mess again. Ready? Oh, I did it. Okay, and just add enough water so that you can get a smooth blend. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Blend until smooth. We want this to be super, super creamy. And boom, done. Set your burner on a medium heat. And we are going to cook our chorizo for about 
Four minutes, okay? Give or take. Four minutes. <laughs> you can come through, sweetie. Okay. You need to get water? Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. Babe, I'm sure everybody misses your face. You want to come say hello? I mean, I miss his face. I'll just mix that chorizo, child. <laughs> Do you know what mommy's making today? Mm, casserole. A casserole. Do you like casserole? Uh, yes. Yeah? yeah? Okay. This has chorizo and uh, ground beef. Are you going to be okay with that? Yes. Yeah. Oh, look who it is. The party started. All right, we're going to continue to cook our chorizo for four minutes. Ooh, what's this? Why is she there? It's chorizo, my amor. Ooh, chorizo. Well, we're making it today, guys. But, um, uh, casserole. Mm -hmm. it's, okay. kind of, it's, it's a seven-layer dish casserole. It yeah, sounds it's right. It's sounds it's delicious. Chorizo, right? Yes, he does. I also got my fresh, my fresh stuff. Huh? Okay. Nice. You look fresh. Bye, sweetie. Love you. Love you. I don't know what you said. Bye. <laughs> And after four minutes, our chorizo is almost ready. We're going to add our chopped ham and our pre-cooked bacon. If you're using regular uncooked bacon, start cooking the bacon first. And I'll link a recipe in the description that's going to give you more detail. It smells like a party in here. It is a party. This is definitely party food. Ooh, this is getting really hot. So one of the things you want to do is if you notice that you're burning your chorizo, you need to add a little bit of oil. And it also depends on your burner and the pan that you're using. After about four minutes, once you've cooked your chorizo, your bacon, and your ham, you're gonna add your blended beans. Give that a loving mix. And this by itself is a meal. <laughs> yes, just bring okay. some chips, your tortillas, burritos, taquitos in your set. We're not done yet. <laughs> Muevelo, muevelo, get out of soul. How do you know when you're done, when the color changes completely? No, ma'am. Be patient, Cloud. Okay. Be patient. <sighs> I'll sit here and be patient. It just smells so good in here. It does smell so good. Um, we're just going to wait for our beans to warm up so that we can add our cheese. Our beans are nice and warm now, so we're going to add our chopped jalapenos and a little bit of that pickle juice. And for those of you that didn't skip, you know that you need to add your chipotle. <laughs> I didn't do that on purpose. I just forgot, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go ahead and mix, mix, mix. Hey, we're on spring break. You shouldn't be testing us right now. Yeah, it's spring break time. It's fun time. Fun time in the kitchen, everyone. That's right. Fun time in the kitchen, mom. I hope that you're cooking for the kids. <laughs> and I hope that the kids are helping with the dishes. And next, you're gonna sprinkle in your desired amount of cheese. And for me, I think I'm gonna go with about a cup and a half, two. Tell me when to stop. Okay, here's where the portions are at. Ah, that's a party now. And that Mexican style blend is Monterey Jack, um, medium cheddar, queso quesadilla, and asadero cheese. Yummy, love asadero cheese. So, so good. I'm gonna turn the burner off because we have enough heat to melt our cheese. Place your burner on a medium heat and drizzle a good amount of oil. And now we're just gonna warm up our tortillas. We're gonna go about 30 to 40 seconds on each side. You want them at the consistency that you would for our enchiladas. In the same pan that we warmed up our tortillas, we're gonna cook our ground beef. Go ahead and add your ground beef. And I don't wanna hear about you guys not wanting to season your beef. I need you to season your beef. Go ahead and add some ground cumin. Garlic powder. tomato chicken bouillon black pepper onion powder and start mixing 
As soon as your beef is fully cooked, go ahead and set it to the side. And now it's time to assemble our casserole. Go ahead and place your tortillas here at the bottom. Next, you're gonna add your beans. Add your ground beef. Next, you wanna add another layer of your tortillas. And now we're gonna place this in the oven at 400 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes. Once you take your casserole out of the oven, you're gonna add your choice of hot sauce. We're using pato sauce, but you can make it comfortable for your home. Some paste picante sauce would work great. What do you homemade think? salsa, whatever you homemade want. Homemade salsa, yes. We have a lot of recipes for you here, but this is super easy. Why don't you guys take a little bit of a break today? Spring break. <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, this is how we spend our spring break in the kitchen and with our family. Yes. Next, you wanna add your choice of sour cream or your crema fresca, and what I did is I did 50-50 and a sprinkle of salt. Next, you're gonna add your avocado. And next, you're gonna sprinkle your lettuce. You don't wanna skip out on the lettuce. If you need help with your lettuce staying crispy, uh, you guys can watch the video of Vivian and I making crispy potato tacos. He shows you on there what to do. Add your cheese. Your pico de gallo. Optional but not necessary, unless you're American, some black olives. And boom done, amigos. We all know the first one that comes out of here is gonna be a nightmare, and that's the one that I'm gonna eat. <laughs> Who's ready for a bite? I'm gonna need somebody very special ooh, ooh. <laughs> to see. Uh... Mm. <laughs> This tastes like Taco Bell, but better. <laughs> you get something comforting with the tortillas and the beans, and then you get the freshness of the all the other ingredients. I do have a tip for you. Make sure that if you're making this recipe, you have a lot of fun. And also, while you're preparing your beans, you can also cook your ground beef at the same time. Makes it a lot easier. Thanks for the tip. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. That is so good. The creaminess in the dish just really amplifies the whole flavor. It's perfect. <laughs> As always, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, make sure to do that. Give us some thumbs up. Follow us on all our social media. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Adios. Hola amigos, we hope you're still drinking your water and in today's infused water we have some chlorophyll, some pear, and some lemon. Isn't this a beauty? And it's delicious. And this is a good one because nobody complained, not the little ones and not the older ones. <laughs>